they said it wasn't real, just my imagination. A simple child's fear, a mere fabrication. But I don't believe their words, or the lies they sing. Because I know for sure, my rug is a living thing. It looks perfectly normal when laying on the floor. But that quickly changes when my parents close my door. My rug used to be just fine, just a lifeless rectangle. But now it is a thing that can kill and eat and mangle. It happened when it was dark, on a warm, calm night. It flew in through my window like a freakish furred kite. It landed on my old rug while I watched from my bed. It tore up the dead carpet and ate up every shred. Now it sits and waits after that nightly ordeal for me to get near it and become its next meal. I have one advantage, though, from this beast most infernal. It is only awake at night. I think it's called Nocturnal, but at night it is hungry, so I feed it all my toys. It is sad to see them go, but it's better than little boys. I tried to tell my parents, ask them to throw it out. Monsters are not real, is all they seem to shout. If they could only see it, I know that they would swear. If they saw the lump it had when it ate my teddy bear, I tried to show my mom rather than the stories I tell. I thought it would be easy, but it didn't go so well. I wonder for how long it will sit there and wait for me to stumble upon it and befall a horrid fate. But tonight I won't worry. Unlike any other, it won't be hungry now, since it's digesting my mother. I wasn't there when Daddy and Caleb and Maddie went away. Went away, Mommy says. So maybe they can come back. She says she hates it when I say the word die. But we don't know how they were killed or who did it to them. So we're looking for something to help us figure it out. Whoever did it put the pieces of them in plastic bags. I don't want to open the bags. It smells nasty when you open the bags. So I just pinch the red pulp around in the bag, looking for a knife or some kind of bullet. But it makes a nasty noise, like a squishing and sometimes a snapping noise when you squeeze them. One time I popped one, and it made a bad mess. Mommy emptied all of them into one pot when we were done looking through them. It doesn't make sense to me, but she does lots of stuff that doesn't make any sense now. She doesn't even want to call policemen or 911 because she says people are out to get her. We went through all of the bags looking for something, but we couldn't find the anything good. Mommy still looks through the big pot for anything good, and she doesn't even wash her hands. She smells just like the bags do. I can't figure out who's in the big pot. It's mostly just a purple mass. Well, except for the faces. <laughs> 